Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different and I am doing some BuzzFeed quizzes, all book related of course. I adore a quiz and I adore book related quizzes so I thought it might be fun to do some. The first one, BuzzFeed tells me everyone can be matched to a certain classic book. Here's your fictional archetype. Let's find out. Let us find out. Which picture appeals to you most? Um, oh, how lovely. I'm gonna go with this little cup and flower and book. Which would you rather be doing on a Friday evening? Dressing my pet in my old doll's clothes? No. <laughs> Reading a good fantasy book? Drinking some tea and writing in a journal? Watching a good post-apocalyptic show? Hanging out with family in the living room? I'm gonna go with hanging out with family. Where would you rather live? Oh, how nice. This is tough. This is tough. I'm torn between this sweet little cottage with the greenery and this like apartment building. I'm gonna go with the apartment building with the cool ladder. Which breakfast appeals to you most? Ooh, I love breakfast. Breakfast food is my favorite. I'm gonna say, ooh, this is tough. I'm gonna say these, I think it looks like a little bit of like a mini pan, is that, are those mini pancakes? Or should I go with waffles? Because I don't know if those are mini pancakes. I'm gonna go with this. Oh, cause there's eggs too. Definitely going with that. Which flowers do you like most? Ooh, a hundred percent these, love, love, love. And finally, what is your ideal animal dog? A hundred percent, I don't even need to see them. I would hug it. The Hunger Games. You are drawn to danger and you love science and ideas of the future. You are smart and curious and you enjoy inventing things and having ideas about new inventions. I'm just gonna say a few things. A, I've never read Hunger Games, nor have I seen the movies. B, I'm not drawn to danger. C, I do enjoy science, but I don't invent things. But sure, I'll, I'll be smart and curious. I like that. <laughs> that was fun and not what I was expecting. Okay, we're gonna switch gears a little bit and now they're gonna tell me my autumn aesthetic. The home library you build will reveal your autumn aesthetic. Love that. Choose an overall feel. Okay. The bottom two, which one do I want? Which one do I want? I like the lighter colors, so I'm going with that, but it needs more books. Choose a bookshelf material. Ooh, I like this for sure. Choose a bookshelf. <gasps> I love the uniqueness of the stair step one, but if it's gonna be like a library library, I'm gonna go with this. That's what I'm gonna go for. Choose some lighting. Ooh. I love these beautiful sparkly ones, but I've always adored like crystal chandeliers. I remember thinking they were so fancy every time I walked through Home Depot. Is this a dream library? Oh, both would be in it, but I'm going with this. I'm going with my fancy chandelier. Choose some comfy seating. Oh, fuzzy couch for sure. Choose a statement wall. Oh, I would adore the roses. Love that. Choose a genre for your shelves. Only one? I guess out of these, I'd say romance. And finally, choose an extra feature. Blankets, ladder. Oh, I have to do a ladder for sure. Ooh. I actually don't know how to pronounce this word. Google says Huga, but I don't see that in the word and I don't think I've ever heard someone say it. Okay. Basically means simple but cozy. Your ideal fall day includes soft blankets, scented candles, a long afternoon nap, and wearing your comfiest clothes. I love that. I can see that. That was fun. Okay, last one. These seven questions will determine which literary heroine best matches your personality. Which genre do you read? Which genre do you read most? It really depends. I guess I'll just say romance for now. Choose a modern day interpretation of a classic text. Clueless, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, Easy A, Cruel Intentions, Pretty Woman, 10 Things I Hate About You. Uh, I don't know. It's been so long. I've only seen three, honestly, and it's been so long. I don't remember the details, but I know Heath Ledger was in this one. So I'm going to go with that one. <clears throat> Pick a line from a book you read in AP Lit. <clears throat> it 
am I picking the line or am I picking the book? I think I'm just picking the line. So I'm going to go with the butterflies line. Pick a celebrity who's known for their period pieces. Ooh. Here Knightley. A hundred percent. She would play me in the movie version of me. Either her and Hathaway would, but I adore Keira Knightley. Which classic literary villain gives you the heebie-jeebies? Ooh. Norman Bates. For sure. I was gonna say the White Witch, but out of these choices, Norman Bates. If your life was a novel, choose an adjective to describe your character. Alluring, timid, curious, bold, charming, headstrong. Only one strong. Finally, choose an estate for your story to take place. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, which of the top two? Oh, okay. I'm going, I'm going with this one. Elizabeth Bennet. You're bold, steadfast, and you say what's on your mind. However, beneath that quippy exterior is a sensitive, albeit stubborn, young woman who is a lot softer than people realize. And as much as I love classics, and classics is one of my favorite genres, I don't like Jane Austen. But if I have to be a Jane Austen heroine, I do, I do like Elizabeth. I also like Marianne Dashwood, although it's been a number of years since I've read the book. Okay. Okay, and for my last one, this quiz will tell me which book I need to read next. Let's see what it says. How are you feeling today? Content, joyful, meh, or low? Content or meh, which is an odd combo. I'll go content. When in your life did your interest in reading really take off? Uh, elementary. Which are you drinking first in the morning? Coffee, 100%. Which are you drinking first after the work day is done? There's no water. I guess more coffee. Pick your favorite YA series, Divergent. I enjoyed that one. Pick your favorite Sarah J Moss series. I've only read one so far, so I've got to go with that guitar. Which seems most attractive right off the bat? A book with heavy world building, a book with suspense, a book with spice, a book under 300 pages. I'm gonna go suspense. Which is your danger response? Fight, flight, freeze, or never have I been in danger. Oh my gosh. I'm just, now I'm, I'm overthinking it because I'm thinking about different scenarios and what type of thing. Am I by myself or are my kids here? Um, fight. The life of a blank sounds the most appealing. Royal, scholar, healer, or artist. Healer. When I dream, it's usually so stressful, honestly kind of hilarious, pretty uneventful. I can't remember those bad boys. <laughs> honestly kind of hilarious. I love dreams. I sleep on my side, usually. I'm a blank girl. Nick, Kevin, Joe, or the wives? Nick. <laughs> Fall is Halloween, changing leaves. Ew, it's chilly. Yum, it's chilly. Changing leaves. I love the leaves. There's a spider in your house and it's immediately under my shoe. Um, hey babe, if it doesn't move, neither will I. Be free, my little guy. A combo, if I'm home alone, if it doesn't move, neither will I. If my husband's home, I call him. I mean, it's as simple as Kylie or Timote. Timote. The Princess Trials, ooh, I have heard of this, but I haven't read it. Magical and enchanting YA fantasy that transports readers to a world of royalty, intrigue, and forbidden romance. Follow the story of Emery Faye, a girl from a humble background who unexpectedly finds herself thrust into a competition to win the heart of a prince. With its delightful blend of romance, adventure, and mystery, this book is a captivating page-turner that will leave you yearning for more of this enchanting realm. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to link below to all these BuzzFeed quizzes. If you try one, let me know your results. I'd be so curious to find out. I just, I just have so much fun doing quizzes. I think they're fun. So <laughs> thanks for coming along with me. And until next time, happy reading.